Hello, this is Photography Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am reviewing Hades for the Xbox Series S. The game is also available for the PlayStation, Nintendo and PC. Hades is a roguelike action dungeon crawler developed by Supergiant Games. You play as the son of Hades as you seek to escape from your father's realm. So what is the game like to play? Well, the action is a remarkably fluid and fast-paced affair with lightning quick combat moves, varied strikes, a dash ability, and other combinations to help you take on the horde. Yes, it does have a button bashing quality, but it is very entertaining and satisfying as you vanquish your foes with a series of balletic moves. However, no matter how good you are, death is inevitable in Hades, but you can't really die. So you just get another crack at the dungeon as you start over each time. The game adopts a procedural level structure, which means in theory every run should feel different, with a slightly different room structure. However, the reality doesn't quite live up to that promise. You see, you'll go from chamber to chamber, kill the enemies, gather the loot from that room, then exit at a door that has an icon on it, which references the loot in the next chamber. The rooms really didn't feel different at all from one room to the next. It certainly lacks the character of a cultivated and designed game world. Instead, it adopts that generic repetition that the roguelite genre is plagued with. As you progress, you'll unlock the boons of the gods. Think of these like perks or special powers that your character will have during that playthrough. These vary quite wildly and they do help alleviate the repetition a little bit but after a while it does kind of revert back to type. After death you return to the hub where there are a variety of gods living there. Here you can stop and chat, use currency to decorate the environment, unlock weapons, utilize special gifts in a display case, or just mill around and practice your moves. Then it's back into the dungeon and this is where Hades really hits the buffers I'm afraid. The game features far too much repetition and I don't think I've ever played a game that got so tedious so quickly, especially as the core combat is really good fun. You'd think it would override the tedious nature of the structure, but it really doesn't. It only really is a game that's suitable for short sessions, like 30 minutes, maybe 45 at an absolute push. But after that point, you will be scratching around looking for something else to play. Saying that, you will come back to it as it is very good fun, Visually, it's a smooth and colourful affair with fast and fluid combat complemented well by the vibrant environments and decoration. In terms of sound, the effects and music are very well suited. The voice acting, however, is a little bit of a mixed bag with some fun and quirky voices mixed in with ones that will send you to sleep. Okay, what's good and what's bad? What's good? The combat is fast, fluid and entertaining. The graphics and sound are wonderful and it's a great game if you've only got limited time to play. What's bad? Sessions get boring very quickly due to the overzealous repetition from one run to the next. Each run felt almost identical, thus adding to the boredom factor. The procedural levels are very samey and forgettable. And it's a game that never truly fulfills its immense potential due to the mind-numbing gameplay loop. So what is the verdict? Hades is an entertaining fast-paced combat game with several variables that affect each run from dungeon to dungeon. The visuals are slick as are the controls and in short bursts it's a wonderful little game. Sadly due to the repetitive nature of the game and its structure it's not one for long sessions, as it gets very tiresome after 30 or 45 minutes. Think of Hades like a good game wrapped in a bad structure, a structure that limits the overall enjoyment and the ability to really delve into the game for long sessions. But despite this flaw, it is still very entertaining in bite-sized chunks, so I would recommend it if you're looking for something to dip into now and then for a quick bash. But it's definitely not one for people who can't stand repetition or a grind because this game is so full of that it's really quite like unavoidable so scoring wise i would give hady seven out of ten all right that's the review thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe this is photography gamer signing off thank you